The learning objective of this ECG interpretation module is to define ECG and to describe the basic heart anatomy and circuit and describe the fundamentals of heart electrophysiology. As human heart muscles create an electrical conduction, the physical translation to that phenomenon is called electrocardiogram or ECG. From the superior inferior vena cava, the blood enters to the right atrium. From the right atrium, the blood then passes through a three-flap valve called triscuspid. Valve going to the lower right portion of the heart referred to as right ventricle. The blood of the right ventricle then passes through a valve called pulmonary artery valve. The pulmonary valve, however, has a three-flap, half-moon-shaped valve that controls the reflux when the ventricle muscles is at rest. As the right ventricle empties its blood content, it then goes to the lungs for oxygenation. As common thought in practice, left ventricle heart muscles is thicker than the right ventricle due to the greater force needed to circulate blood. After blood has been oxygenated, the pulmonary veins carries the blood back to the heart. As the pulmonary veins empties its blood contents to the left atrium, it then passes through a two-flap valve known as mitral valve. This mitral valve prevents the reflux of its contents back to the left atrium. From the left atrium, the blood then goes to the left ventricle. The left ventricle empties its blood contents to the aorta through a valve called the aortic valve. The aortic valve is a three-fab semilunar valve that keeps the blood from coming back to the ventricle at diastole. The blood from the lungs returns to the body after receiving oxygen through the aorta. The structures that support your heart valve is called the chordae tendinae, a fibrous cartilage-like tissue that controls the mechanical movement of the valve. The heart structures, however, that suspends the chordae tendinae is called papillary muscle. The septum divides the heart into two. The right receives the unoxygenated blood, and the left side sends the oxygenated blood to the periphery. Most part of the right ventricle muscles get its perfusion from the right coronary artery. The right coronary artery, RCA, supplies blood mostly to the sinoatrial node and the atrial ventricular node. Left ventricle muscles receive perfusion from the left main coronary arteries, or LMCA. The LMCA bifurcates into two major arteries, the LAD and, and circumflex. The circumflex supplies blood mostly to the left lateral part of the heart, which partly perfuses the sinoatrial and atrioventricular area. The septal region and front part of the heart muscles get its perfusion from the left anterior descending LAD coronary artery. In response to the stimulation to the vagus nerve, the SA node generates its own electrical conduction, normally 60 to 100 impulses per minute. From the SA node, the electrical conduction will travel through a nodal pathway. This is anterior, middle, and posterior internodal pathway. The internal nodal pathway is the usual conduction route from SA node to the AV node. The innervation to the left atrium is called Bachmann bundle. The Bachmann bundle is the SA node pathway that stimulates the left atrium. The AV node generates about 40 to 60 stimulations per minute. If the SA node fails to function, this conduction travels down to the ventricle area through bundle of his. The AV bundle, also known as bundle of his, branches into two main bundles. 
The left and right bundle branches then attach to the myocardial muscles through Purkinje fibers. For questions and comments, visit us at criticalcarewizard.com.